So one of my favorite things uh, to do when the bass are kind of post-spawn, there's still a lot of fish in the shallows and the water's a little bit clear, especially if there's grass and stuff, is to throw a super shallow crankbait. Uh, this is a Straight King 1.5 shallow right here. And again, it's post-spawn. So a lot of bluegill spawning. I like to throw a, a natural color. This is an orange brim, uh, the natural bluegills. Those are two of my favorite patterns. You know, right now you can see about two feet down in the water. So it's got good clarity to it. This is a bait you can cover a ton of water with. You know, we got some cloud cover. We got a little bit of wind right now. So shallow crankbait allows you to, to, to cover a lot of water and it, it's just a lot less obtrusive than say a spinner bait or something that has a lot of flash and vibration. This is something I can move real fast and it's got a real erratic action. So we're gonna run down through here and, and see if we can't get some on it. It's, it's one of my favorite te techniques when you have conditions like this right here. Got him. Good one. You can see classic example of what I'm talking about right there. There is a post-spawn skinny bass. Um, you're right up there shallow like that. And he just barely got that crankbait. But you know, I've got the wind pushing down here. Um, I'm on a nice little inside line. And you know, I can see, I'm, I mean, I've got the trolling motor in two and a half feet. So I'm just running that with that rod tip up like this and reeling it along pretty fast and then just stop it every now and then. And that's kind of the real key. The speed for me with this water clarity because that water's pretty clear. You know, you're just moving that bait by them real quick. It looks just like a little sunfish to them and they just react to it. You know, some of these fish are garden fry. Um, they're around some of these bluegill beds and things like that. So having uh, that faster moving bait like that really makes a big difference. You can cover a ton of water this way with it compared to other techniques. So, I mean, there's a lot of ways you can catch fish like this right now, but this is one of my favorites because it's, it's just so efficient. One of the things that I, that I really try to do is um, control the depth. The neat thing about this lure is it's not just a wake bait. You know, it's not just a, a top water type crank bait is you can fish it down too. I mean, it'll run if you, if you hold your rod tip down and, uh, and keep it down, it'll run, you know, about two feet, 18 inches to two feet, but I can also keep it right up near the top if I want. So there he is, little guy. Speed control is definitely a big factor with this. You know, I, I run it pretty fast and stop it a lot, get a little jerk when you hit some grass, things like that. Biggest thing for me is, is the equipment. You know, I use it on a seven foot medium action, uh, my Tour KVD cranking rod. And, um, you know, just like this, I can start with my rod tip up and I can keep that bait running, you know, just eight or 10 inches below the surface, just kind of above that grass. If I get some grass on it, I can snap it off stop it and start it. And then as it gets closer to the boat, I'll kind of lower the rod tip and, you know, as it's getting out a little deeper and let that bait get a little deeper. So, you know, it's just a, a really good setup for it. These fish smash it a lot of times. So having that composite rod really makes a big difference in how many you're going to catch. There we go. A little. Eventually we'll get some. There we go. There we go. Nice one. That's what you catch right there is, you know, good solid, a lot of fish like this right here. You can see um, this is probably a, you know, post-spawn fish just up here and they're, they're still eating a lot of bluegills and things like that. Just a, you know, solid chunk right there. Super shallow cranking. Gotta like it. <laughs>